now let's put an effect on the, the last one. We'll go to text again and I'm just going to put that this is the end of the video. Okay, notice that the gray uh, is still there as long as this background color box is checked. I'm going to uncheck it for this this one and leave it at that and click OK. So at this point let's preview what we have. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, the preview button and it shows over here uh, what we've done so far. Okay, uh, I'm going to import another element here. Um, I want to go back to the pan zoom and show you how that works. Uh, let's uh, pick this one here and drag it down to the uh, storyboard. We'll right click on it, click adjust effects. Uh, click on the pan and zoom and I'm going to come over here and set the uh, pan and zoom here. Uh, keep the aspect at 4 to 3 and click OK. I'm going to change the duration uh, of uh, this file. To, and I just double clicked on the, the duration there. I'm going to change it to six seconds just so you can see that full pan and zoom and click OK. And I'm going to just drag this over a little closer and preview it and we should see the uh, file zoom in which it's doing. You know that's a very good effect. Uh, it's called the Ken Burns effect. Uh, a uh, very good effect. If you're doing a slideshow, you should have a pan and zoom element uh, or effect on, on each uh, uh, photo in, in the slides. It makes the slideshow much more interesting. Now let's look at another uh, effect and, and that is uh, uh, the plug-in effects. And, and I told you I was going to go into that. Uh, this is uh, this gives you a little bit more versatility, but it's it's a little more work. If you go to the the uh, the contents file, the help file, uh, and you look down through it, you'll see that there's uh, one of the uh, uh, help areas is the effects. If you click on that and then scroll down to where it says filters, you have a link here and it says virtual dub filter. So if you click on that and then we're going to click on this bottom one here it says large collection of filters. If you click there there is just a ton of filters here they're free that you can download and then import into uh, the uh, uh, the plugins in the area and all you have to do is is uh, uh, where it says load unload filters you click here and you navigate to wherever you've placed the filters you've downloaded and you you tell it to load the file and then to use the file and let's use this this particular one here on on the water lilies and it's a it's a grayscale now the program already has that effect, but this is a plug-in that it has. And I'm going to click OK and let me make sure I've done that. I didn't do that. Let's uh, go back. Grayscale. Oh, OK. I have to add the filter and then click OK. And you'll notice down here that the uh, water lilies are now in a grayscale instead of the uh, the nice colors that they were. So that's a, a plug-in effect and, and uh, if you look through there there's lots of different effects that are available uh, in uh, uh, 
at that website uh, for you to download. So it does add a little more versatility to this program, but it, uh, you know a lot of uh, other video editors have those same effects built right in, and you don't have to search for them and go through the trouble of of adding them uh, to your your uh, uh, program. And then the last effect that I want to uh, look at is what we call a watermark. Uh, let me select uh, let me select this photo here, and I'll add uh, a watermark. I don't, I'm not sure why you would want to do this, uh, but let's see. I'm going to add a little uh, Bullwinkle picture here that I have as the watermark document, and it. Uh, allows you to place it around the screen left center right top middle bottom I'm gonna put it the, at the left top and the size let you adjust that I'm gonna leave it where it's at and click OK and see if we have it uh, let's see yeah there it is right up there it's my little bullwinkle drawing don't really know why you would want a watermark uh, but uh, uh, it's available if you want to give it a try. Okay, now we've got uh, several elements here and it looks like we've got 22 seconds of, uh, of uh, a video here. Let me add a couple more clips just I want to bring it up around 30 seconds. So let's add this Okay, now uh, we got about 31 seconds. Now we need some music for this, so uh, it's pretty easy to get your music. They have a pretty good uh, selection of music uh, with this program. You just right click in the soundtrack and it brings up uh, uh, an icon that says Add Sound from NCH Sound Effects Library. Click on that, takes you to the mu music library. And you can choose from blues, classic, dance, rock, or world. I kind of like blues. You can check out how it sounds. Uh, click on one. Don't like that. Don't like that. There we go. I'm good. Okay, I like that one. I have it highlighted. Going over here to the right, and I'm going to download it. And it's going to bring it right into the storyboard and place it in uh, uh, the timeline. Okay.